Okay, hi everyone, uh, my name is Josh, and with this video I'm just going to be running through some of the features of my Gloss uh, Myth TV front end. So I'll just fire it up. Now, Gloss is designed to be a replacement for the existing uh, Myth TV front end, a drop in alternative replacement. Uh, it's written using the Clutter framework, which is a, an OpenGL uh, library, which is an absolutely amazing piece of work. So you'll see that when we start up, we've got a, a basic uh, menu system similar to what you get in the existing Myth TV front end. Scrolling through these options, you'll notice that there's just a little bit more animation going on. You get the selector bar actually moving between options. Uh, you get some scaling happening on the uh, selected item. And you also get the images on the left hand side fading between one another rather than just jumping. So each of the, the menu options here is its own discrete module. Um, they're fully pluggable, um, fairly basic to write depending on what you want to do. So we'll jump into the slideshow module. As you can see this option takes us to another menu. Uh, now in this particular case all of these options here are just options on the files, uh, sorry directories on the file system uh, within the uh, pictures folder. You also notice that the, the menus here are will scroll when they're longer than the desired length. So we'll fire up demo 9. This just shows us the pictures within the, the demo 9 directory. They've got a basic pan and scale effect on them at the moment, um, very similar to what people would call the Ken Burns effect. Um, also any audio files that are within that directory will start randomly at the same time. So I'll jump back out of there. Okay, now we've got some the capability to do some very basic streaming from the Myth TV backend. Um, what I'll be showing you today is streaming off a remote backend. Um, the options are fairly limited at the moment. The, you can't change channels yet, or you can't view recordings. Um, but this amount of or this ability is certainly on its way. I don't want to play too much video because it's uh, messing with sync on these screencasts. But we'll jump into the videos module now. Now as you can see there's, there's a, a folder list on the hand side and some video options on the right. If we jump down onto movies you'll see that um, we've got some nice covers for all the movies. Again these are being pulled off the existing Myth database with no uh, alterations or anything having happened to that. So you, you see we get the full description and everything from the movie. Uh, all the playback with us is done uh, in GStreamer. So anything that we'll play in GStreamer will play fine in Gloss. I'm just going to quit out of here now. I'm just going to change the current theme that's in use to demonstrate some of the theming abilities of, of Gloss. So as you can see now that we've started up with a different theme called Pear, um, this one's basically a, a rip-off of the Apple Front Row system. You'll notice that the, the bar on the left, on the right hand side has changed, uh, as, so, as have the images on the left. You might also notice that the uh, effect of changing between images is different now. All the transitions that Gloss uses uh, are fully pluggable and they're fully selectable within the themes. So this uses the same slide transition currently to get between different menus. If we quit out of there again, we're actually just going to jump into the theme file for this. And we're going to change an option. from slide to another transition called zoom fade. Now all the, the themes are simply XML files so they're fairly easy to write but now you'll notice that switching between menus gives us a slightly different effect here. Um, it's a little bit buggy but it does demonstrate some of the capabilities that are there. Now these transitions again are, are fully pluggable and they're, they're very very trivial to write once you've got a very basic understanding of um, the way clutter works. So that's about all I wanted to show you today. 
Um, Gloss is under fairly heavy development at the moment, so hopefully there'll be a lot of new features coming out in the near future. And thank you once again for watching.